for Conference 2C Varsity. Is that the conference, the correct conference for your organization? Yes. Has this organization or any of the student members heard, read, rehearsed, or performed Ridgeview Overture by Carol Bridge Chambers prior to this event? No. And that's the official answer. I assume you do not want all of the rules read. Correct. Good, because I'm not going to read them to you. <laughs> um, you, your timing will start when, whenever y'all start, and you turn your score over, and they turn the music over, and then at the conclusion of your seven minutes, which will be your timekeeper, you can play one note, and then you're off to the races. All right, good luck, everybody. All right. Hello, Stan Heights, good. Awesome. Touch the top corner of your page. And flip. Okay, touch your key signature when the kid comes B flat. This is all normal. Touch, um, find your first F sharp or B flat or E flat. Find that, touch it a few times. Find the next one, make sure we don't miss that. Okay, here we go. From the very beginning, it's a leg row. We're just gonna air articulate. Ready? And half, set. Breathe, hold, everyone has unison rhythms here. Measure two, change, change, measure three, go all the way, don't breathe. Everybody has a rest on count four, three, breathe, five. Flute, oboe, clarinet, trumpet, you have the melody. One, two, three, measure nine. One, two, three, four. Pay close attention to your rhythm. We're gonna mix them up in a bit. One, two, three, four. Measure 11, two, 12, everybody's off on four. One, two, three, touch. 13, two, three, four. This is gonna be the middle voices with the melody, and then we kind of pass it along back to the flutes and the trumpets. So even though it says mezzo piano, make sure you play nice and confidently. Not sure where we are, but we're about to get to 19. Measure 19, one, touch the rest. Three, four, one, and two, three, four, freeze. Um, flute, or sorry, oboe and second clarinets, measure 20, you have a rest on count. Three is what it should be corrected as. Just make sure you don't play it in this print, okay? Let's do it to measure 19. Here we go. Ready? Tap, set, 19, go. One, touch the rest. Three, four, no, you're not playing. Okay, so try to pick up that clue. 19, one, two, ready, go. One, touch the rest. Three, four, one, touch the rest. Three, four, pick up notes need to be strong. Three. Four, make sure you can hear the flutes and the trumpets right here. Four, one, two, three. Make sure you're tapping the inside of your shoe. And 25, two, three, inside of the shoe, please. Two, three, four. Pay attention to the articulation. Notes after slurs need to be articulated a little firmer. Measure 29, one, two, three. Mezzo piano, but still play very confidently. Three, four, 31, two, three, Four, 32, if you have a whole note, you can take a breath right here. Take a breath. One, two, three, four, 34. Pay a close attention to the articulation. Tongue this firmly. One, two, 35, little crescendo. One, two, now we have the middle voices. It's only you. Two, play strong. Three, four. One, two, don't breathe after the long notes. Wait until the fourth measure. So you can breathe in 40, coming up. One, Two, three, measure 40. Mezzo forte from the whole band. Make it feel just like normal. One, two, three. Pay close attention to articulation. Two, three, four. One, don't breathe because it's a crescendo. 45, strong, touch the rest. Three, we have some people playing in the rest. And that's fine. It's going to be the melody people. If you have the eighth notes, you're the melody right here. So play nice and strongly. Two, three, four. Measure 50. Two, get soft. Piano coming up. One, two, look up as much as you can. One, two, three, four. Strong, two, take, three, look up on the last three notes. One, two, three, touch. Okay, let's go. We're actually going to play 45 to the end. Here we go. And tap, set, 45 on the notes. These are not 
not written staccato. Okay, we have 37. This is mezzo forte, played with normal sounds. 37, play confidently. Tap, set, 37, and.
everybody. Why don't you put that piece of music back in your folder and we'll start with that. And then close the folder and push your stamps down so I can see you for a little bit. Music back in the folder, folder close, stamps down. The first thing I want to compliment you on is just how good sounds you make. Percussion, everything was really tasteful, all the woodwind and brass stuff, really, really well done, and just showcasing that you know how to make really good sounds on your instrument. That's really important. Don't take that for granted, because if you play all the right notes and the right rhythms, but you sound like a lawnmower instead of a trombone, then you're not going to get the credit that you need to on everything. So um, raise your hand if when you turned that piece of music over and you saw it, you were like, oh my god, we got to spend seven minutes rehearsing this. This is so easy. Raise your hand if you thought that. Like, be honest. If you did, okay, I'm a little bit surprised. I thought a little bit more of, of you maybe would have thought that was easy. The piece is going to be easier than what you're playing on stage. So when you do that, you really need to, um, it, remember there's no judges in here to impress while you're rehearsing. You need to stay as mentally engaged as you can and just play the snot out of the music because it's gonna be below your ability. Like you are here as a player, this piece is gonna be really easy, so perform it. Something that you need to think about when you're playing is the breathing that you're doing, both one, keeping your body full of air so that you continue to make really good sounds, but also whenever you're playing long phrases, some of you are breathing regularly in the middle of a sentence. So think of everything that you do between a rehearsal square and your music as being a musical phrase, right? It's a sentence. So if you take a lot of pauses in between everything that you're saying, then it sounds just as awkward as that sentence. So when you're playing, you need to play longer in one breath and take more efficient breaths at the beginning, not up and down if that makes sense. That is one thing, really probably the only thing that would make you sound a whole grade level older, if you played longer phrases in one breath. And then, um, I wrote this down to tell you before your performances, there's probably only gonna be like one or two tricky rhythmic things in there. And I wasn't sure if you were gonna get that one at measure 16 or whatever, the play, rest, rest, play, play, rest because you never got it in the rehearsal, but you nailed it in the performance, which is important. So that was really good to see. Make sure that when you discover those one or two really tricky moments that you remember and you're like, I'm gonna nail this in the performance. I'm not gonna let that rhythm trick me. Does that make sense? Okay, so keep working on your music. I'm excited to see y'all um, tomorrow morning at Timber Creek and you are free to go. Will you push the music stand